Yo! One of the most exciting parts of motorsports is that you never know what to expect. But once in a while, something extremely odd or bizarre happens, and no one sees it coming. After watching this video of weird oddities in baseball, I knew that I had to make one centering NASCAR. The moments in this list are pretty interesting. Talladega and Daytona. Two of the only NASCAR tracks where if a flip happened, no one would be surprised in the slightest. But what about a track like Charlotte Motor Speedway? Well, in the 2022 Coke 600, a standard wreck took place, but nothing seemed out of the ordinary until the wreck was just about over. Chris Buescher went for a tumble as his right front wheel dug into the dirt and got trapped underneath his car. It appears a new fear has been unlocked for NASCAR drivers. Dang it. Oh, yeah. Buescher's oh. upside down. I think he hooked a drain. This was as unexpected as David Ruderman's flip at Watkins Glen, or Timothy Peters' flip in the Texas infield. The crash honestly reminded me of the time Carl Edwards came close to flipping out Charlotte after celebrating over a drain hidden in the grass. Have you ever watched a sport where two players get their equipment stuck to each other? As odd as this may be, NASCAR finally has their own version of this. Matt Benedetto pulled a slider on Austin Wayne's self at Bristol Dirt earlier this season, and his back bumper got hooked onto the front end of the 22. This made it impossible for them to continue racing, and after trying to get detached, both drivers had to come to a stop to get a caution. I cannot recall a time where this has happened recently. The closest thing to this that I can remember is when part of Casey Kane's car got stuck in the wall at Pocono. After thinking on this for a few days, I remember the time Travis Quapple picked up Greg Biffle's Ford Grill at Kentucky of 2013. It was kind of funny because it made it look like he was driving a Toyota and Ford hybrid. Not really sure how that happened. I'm, I'm just out of words right now. The wheel on the 43 team got stuck and the pit crew tried many methods to get it off. This was the first season that NASCAR switched to a wheel with one singular lug, where traditionally they would change tires with five. There's a first for everything and I'm sure NASCAR was expecting problems to rise throughout the season, but probably not to this degree. Something similar actually happened to Valtteri Bottas in Formula 1 last year. Ryan Blaney was about to win the 2022 All-Star Race, but NASCAR made a rule change for this event, saying the race must end under green, and if a caution happened on the white flag, there would be another restart. As Blaney was about 100 feet from winning the race, a caution came out for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. slightly scraping the wall. Some NASCAR fans did not even think this warranted a caution in the first place, and Blaney's team started celebrating, thinking they'd won. Ryan Blaney even went as far as to take his window net down, but the race wasn't over. Most of this will be pretty hard for me to explain on my own, so I'm going to leave it to these few clips to paint the picture. Even the announcers thought the whole sequence was a bit ridiculous. Really? We're going to go back racing, boys. We are? They need to make sure they tell him. Yeah, before he starts doing burnouts. Well, or, or you know, yeah. getting ready, yeah, getting ready to celebrate. Race isn't over? Yes, I am serious. It's not over. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know what to say. I do, but I won't. NASCAR seems to be a bit inconsistent with late race cautions, because while Stenhouse got a yellow for this, Brad Kozlowski didn't get a caution at Nashville just one month later. How about a second appearance for the Coke 600 in this video? The cable camera that runs over the speedway partially collapsed in the middle of 2013's running, which led to damage to the leader of Kyle Busch, Marcus Ambrose, and others. Unlike traditional red flags, this was an unpredictable instance that allowed for repairs to be made. Typically repairs can be made under red flags, but this was one exception. Since it was way out of anyone's control, NASCAR was pretty understanding and tried to make it right. There were some crews with uh, 15 people around the car, there's no way an official could have possibly seen what they were working on, so I just thought that being a points race and being a 600, it should have been a little more controlled than that, but it was, um, that was nice that the guys got to, got to fix their damage, because certainly no fault of their own. One of the weirdest things I've seen, but I think NASCAR handled that right. I was kind of happy it happened because I need to go to the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Edwards was leading at Bristol in 2014, but a mysterious caution came out with just three laps to go. The thing is, no one knew exactly why. Caution is out with two to go, and we're waiting word of why. Nobody knows what the yellow's for. Well, good. I'm glad we're not the only ones <laughs> in the out. dark. Yeah. Nothing was reported to the announcers. Nothing happened on track, but the caution lights randomly came on. Edwards was so close to winning, but this yellow flag would bring all of his competitors right up to his level. It turns out the caution was entirely unintentional. And even in racing reference, the caution reasoning is a track light malfunction. Almost immediately as this caution happened, rain started to pour, ending the race right then and there. Safety vehicles are an important part of NASCAR and commonly serviced during yellow flags. Flags. One yellow flag at Richmond saw an ambulance stopped in front of the pit road's entrance and caused a pileup between Clint Boyer and Matt Kenseth. 
With race cars and safety cars sharing the track at the same time, it's inevitable that they'll interfere with each other at times. Sometimes NASCAR holds pre-race festivities, and one of the ones they had at Texas in 2012 was parachuters that were trying to land in the infield of the racetrack. A slight error in this parachuter's landing caused his sandbag to hit the door of Kevin Harvick's race car, causing visible damage. This slightly reminds me of the time where Austin Dillon got hit with a firework pre-race, but don't worry because he was okay just like the 29 car after they brought it into the garage to repair the damage. On the opening pace laps of the 2002 EA Sports 500 at Talladega, Mark Martin was swerving to warm up his tires from second place when suddenly his wheel locked up. This caused him to shoot across the track into Jimmy Johnson in which both cars received damage. Crashing before the race ever even starts is unheard of and Mark Martin was penalized with a trip down pit road. Chad Kanas was pleading for NASCAR to allow the 48 team to make repairs before the race, and I can totally see where he's coming from. The way it sounds now, they're not going to do that. Chad is still lobbying. He says that his spotter told him that, that there is damage to the right front fender. Chad is still lobbying. As a result of this video, what is the oddest thing that has ever happened to your favorite NASCAR driver? I want to know your story, so comment down below. The YouTube algorithm thinks you'll like this video next, so go ahead and give it a watch. Or if you thought highly of this video, hit subscribe so you can watch more of my content in the future.